Hi everyone, Pete Pistoni here for Racing One Cast as we recap day number one of the 2008 NASCAR Sprint Cup Media Tour here in the Charlotte area, which wound up here at the sprawling Richard Childress Racing Complex. But the day started with a breakfast for the Chip Ganassi Racing Team and a chance to meet the international driver lineup that Ganassi will field in 2008, covering drivers in the Sprint Cup Series, the Nationwide Series, the Indy Racing League, ARCA, and the Grand Am Series. From there, we moved to the NASCAR Research and Development Facility in Concord, North Carolina, for the annual State of the Union that NASCAR puts on as part of this tour every year. NASCAR management, including CEO Brian France, met the media and answered some questions. One piece of news out of the conference, the top 35 rule in qualifying was changed. Drivers not in the top 35 will qualify in their own separate group this year at the end of the regular time trial session. From there, we came here to Richard Childress Racing and this brand new auditorium here on the complex in Welcome, North Carolina. A news item that came from here, Richard Childress Racing involved in a Grand Am program. A Daytona prototype headed by longtime veteran driver Andy Wallace will make the uh, 2008 debut for team owner Richard Childress. Cup drivers were also here to answer questions from the media, including Jeff Burton, Kevin Harvick, and, of course, Clint Boyer. And also it was announced that Stephen Light will drive a couple of races in the RCR number 21 entry in the Nationwide Series, and if more sponsorship can be found, Light will share that seat with veteran Bobby Labonte. So that wraps up day number one. Day number two highlights include a trip to the brand new wind tunnel facility of CNC Haas, and we'll wrap things up tomorrow at Joe Gibbs Racing. For Racing OneCast, this is Pete Pistoni reporting.